Hello darkness, my old friend I've come to talk with you again Listen, everybody, I want you all to be quiet. I've got Ben's college yearbook here, and I just want to read you some of the wonderful things about Ben. Hey, there's the award-winning yes. scholar. We're all very proud of you, Ben. How are you, track star? What are you going to do now? I was going to go upstairs for a minute. Oh, I meant with your future. Your life. Well, that's a little hard to say. Because a vision softly creeping Left its seeds while I was sleeping Robinson, you're trying to seduce me. <laughs> Aren't you? Have you gotten us a room yet? I haven't, no. Do you want to? I'll get undressed now. Is that all right? Sure. Shall I? I mean, shall I just stand here? I mean, I don't know what you want me to do. Why don't you watch? Oh, sure. Thank you. Mrs. Robinson, do you think we could say a few words to each other first this time? I don't think we have much to say to each other. Benjamin, are you having an affair with someone? Ha! I do think you should know the consequences of what you've done. I, I do think you should know that my wife and I are getting a divorce soon. What happened between Mrs. Robinson and me was nothing. It didn't mean anything. Well, that's not saying much for my wife. Point is, I don't love your wife. I love your daughter, sir. Fair. I want to ask you a question and then I'm going. From you? No. I want to know why you're here in Berkeley. Is it because I'm here? Well, look, I love you. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Will you marry me? Are we getting married tomorrow? Why don't you just drag me off if you want to marry me so much? You can't stop me from seeing her, Mrs. Robinson. I'll find her. Sorry we won't be able to invite you to the wedding, Benjamin, but the arrangements have been so rushed. Oh, Jesus, Mr. Carl. No. was a true 